Moving on, former Proteas wicket keeper batsman Mangaliso Mosetla has announced his retirement from professional cricket, bringing to an end a 15 year long career in the sport. The Tuduza born big hitter announced the news on his social media on Wednesday. A 33 year old who was capped seven times in T20 international cricket in 2017 played for the Titans, the Lions, and Dolphins before joining the Knights. He also plied his trade in the colors of the Cape Cobras on a loan spell. Mosekhe joins me now to reflect on his career and the decision to hang his gloves from a game he loved so dearly. Mangalis, appreciate your time on Newsroom Africa tonight. I mean, all of us, we wouldn't understand how difficult of a decision this is, especially when it comes to a game that you would love so much. Just take us maybe if you have made the decision on a Wednesday and put it out on social media, what was Monday looking like for you? Oh, yeah, good evening, uh, Virenda. Uh, thank you very much for, for having me on the, on, on the show. Um, yeah, I mean, it's, it's something that I've been thinking about um, for some time now, um, and it probably happened a couple of months ago, but um, uh, essentially... Uh, oh, well, officially, like obviously when I announced it on Wednesday, uh, there was just a couple of things that I just needed to do and figure out and just make sure that everything is in place. Uh, but yeah, it was a very tough decision to make. Um, you know, I've made my debut when I was 18 and uh, to let go, um, something that I've known uh, since high school as a professional cricket was tough. Uh, but I think uh, it was the right time for me. I guess what we all are intrigued about is what inspired the decision to retire from professional cricket? Um, I, I think, you know, when I look at, like, the last season, mm -hmm. uh, I mean, I did, like, a lot of coaching and helping out more than I did uh, work on my game. Um, and um, I remember Rain um, said uh, uh, to us when we still played this at a 19, is that um, if you don't feel the same way you did uh, when you put on your baggy cap or your cap to go play a cricket game, then maybe it's time to let go, you know. And um, I still love the game and I still enjoyed being around my teammates. Uh, but I think for me, it would have been unfair to continue playing and uh, holding up a spot for someone um, who could have actually uh, yeah, yeah, had an opportunity. Uh, you've just mentioned uh, Ray Jennings. Uh, I know another... I mind. Um, and, uh, I mean, eventually Jeff was like, no, man, why don't you go back to East Ends and uh, try help out the team then play for like one more, two more years. Um, and uh, which I did, you know, it was um, also good to finish off my career playing for my uh, uh, home team where I grew up. Uh, but I mean, that's something that I thought about for a while because I had a lot of close people. Uh, but as I mentioned earlier, it was a hard decision. But um, at the end of the day, I felt that I had to do what's right for me and what's right for the game. And uh, yeah. I mean, one of the reasons you, you played the sport, it's been public, was because you wanted to make a difference. After 15 years, do you feel like you would have achieved that, making a difference? Um, and I think, uh, 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 and I mean, Wednesday, obviously, when I put that out on social media, it was like a very emotional day, even uh, till this day, getting calls from like a lot of my teammates, um, the guys that I've actually never met also on Facebook and Instagram. Um, and uh, the messages were, were heartwarming, you know, and... Um, I think what stood out for me the most and which I always believe in is uh, obviously I contributed in cricket with performances, but uh, most of the messages that I got was um, that I inspired people to be, for them to become better human beings. And um, I was there as a friend. I was there as a mentor. Mm -hmm. And I think for me, uh, that is more precious than getting 100. Uh, that is more precious than taking a good catch, you know. So um, I feel that I've done my duty as a player in that space. Mm -hmm. And uh, hopefully moving forward, I can do that um, in, a, in, a, in a different uh, space. I guess the biggest question from us is what's next for Mangaliso? Um, yes, yeah, so obviously uh, coaching has been um, a, uh, uh, a very um, close passion of mine um, and um, I think um, while this is what I believe uh, when I'm going to that space uh, when I'm going to the space is um, that uh, through like the sports and produce better human beings one day because uh, as Jeff always used to say I'm a firm believer that uh, you're first a human being before like you're an accountant or a cricketer or soccer player you know so um, if I can do that as a coach moving forward, I think I'll be happy with that.
Mangali, so just to be brief, I, I just need to quickly sneak in this one. How would you assess the state of cricket in the country? I mean, while there's confidence that cricket South Africa is gaining back, but concerns still remain, uh, especially in the lack of domestic first-class cricket. Yeah, I think it was uh, um, a, um, a tough couple of years, and especially with COVID, it's hard moving forward, you know, and uh, you look at... Um, the T20 comp that has been played a couple of months ago that's been good for cricket. Okay. Um, so I think cricket is um, very healthy. Um, there's a lot of good uh, players playing in Division 2, Division uh, 1 as well. Um, a lot of good players also playing in Center 19. So um, I think uh, moving forward, um, there's uh, a, a lot of depth moving forward. Um, and I think uh, just followed a bit uh, with uh, the SAA Tortoise Slank as well, like how the guys have played there, you know. So I think in terms of like depth and the state of the game, uh, I think we're moving into the right direction. Mangalisa, I appreciate your time on Newsroom Africa.